Hello, I'm Tenixim, and I'm back to give you more battles in the Scarlet and Violet Season 3 metagame. So, this team is a team that you guys should probably predict for me by now, because it is hyper offense. If you saw my channel anytime during um, Gen 8, then you would know that I'm a very hyper offensive player. I like Tailwind, I like moves that hit both targets, and I just like to overwhelm my opponents with an offensive team. So, we have Gordingo, Tally Flame, Iron Bundle, Iron Hands, for the main and Roaring Moon. So, the idea behind this team is very, very simple. You have Tailwind, and then you have five hard hitters. And you set up Tailwind, and then you just go. You just blitz. Um... Dingo here has the typical moveset, Protect, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, um, and Thunderbolt to counter rain teams, which appear to be more common in this, this format. And then, of course, you have Iron Bundle, whose job is to kind of control speed with Icy Wind, as well as do damage on its own with Freeze Dry and Hatcher Pump. And then you have Fluttermane here, who just complements with, with Iron Bundle so well, because if anything, at speed speed, at speeds, the Flutter Main, Iron Bundle could slow it down with the Icy Wind, and then Fl Flutter Main, that name is hard to say, <laughs> can pick up the Chaos with Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, or Moon Blast. Um, Roaring Moon is a physical attacker on this team, and it has um, Acrobatics, Dragon Claw, and Throat Chop with the Flying Terror type. With Roaring Moon, whenever you bring it, you probably want to terrestrialize it because it has a Flying Terror type, and that means that it's acrobatics. Once you consume the booster energy, do tons of damage to your opponent. And then last but not least, you have Iron Hands, who is just a damage sponge. Iron Hands is very, very bulky in this format. Like, very few things can actually pick up the KO on it. And then Iron Hands also gives you fake out support, as well as Drain Punch for, for recovery. And then Thunder Punch and Wild Charge for just damage output. Um, so yeah, if you want to know more about this team, and you want you want me to do a team report on it, you can always say so in the comment section, in the comment section down below, or just, I don't know, tell me on Twitter, or whatever. Um, yeah, and that's it. Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe, because 99% of you guys are not subscribed. Yeah, think about it. And I will see you all later. Anyway, on to the video. Iron Hands, Arcanine, Iron Bundle, Fudamane, Roaring Moon, and Among Us. Okay, let's take advantage of our, our Tailwind support here. And their team doesn't like Godingo that much. Then to cover Godingo's weaknesses, like the um, Iron Hands, for example, we'll bring Fluttermane. And then. I don't know, really. We'll bring, we'll bring Roaring Moon. Yes. Iron Hands is just like so bulky. Like, absurdly bulky for no reason. That's why I'm scared of it. Alright. We have good leads here. With the Fluttermane and the Arcanine. Alrighty, so... Well, Tailwind here. Well, Tailwind and we'll just protect because I think that they're gonna protect with their um, for the main. And then Arcanine can use Null, can use Null on us to um, lessen our damage that put. So we're just gonna protect here. Yep, called it. We use protect. Tailwind. And there's Gnarl. 
No, this fly blitz, okay. So now we can... Honestly, I want to break the focus attach on the on the bottom main. So let's just use Brave Bird, and then we'll go for um, Make It Rain. Arcanine would take me out with the um, Flare Blitz, but it would do big damage to itself before it does that. And then I think I have Iron Bundle in, in the back. I'm not too scared. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna do about like 81 damage to itself. Yep, Flare Blitz. Yep. Probably has a berry though. Yeah, big damage. Berry. Nope, no berry. Awesome. I don't have iron bundle. Oops. Arcanon has Will O Wisp. So I need, I need to take it out this turn. Their own Roaring Moon. Okay, so yeah, what they're going to do... And we got to speed their Roaring Moon as well. So they're going to go for Will of Us on the Arcanine here. I mean, on my um, Roaring Moon here. So I got to... Um, I'm going to burn their Roaring Moon, actually. And then I'm going to... Terrastalize. And then Dragon Claw their Arcanine. Yeah. I think I made the right play here. I hope I made the right play. They protect Arcanine, okay. What a wisp. Nice. No Lumberry? Oh. They had Lumberry. Okay, whatever. Dragon Claw. Oh, that's mine. Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. Rock Slide. Okay. Talipan rewards the attack. We got Lucky there. Okay. Not a whole lot of damage I put from their Roaring Moon. So that's great for me. Now we can just Dragon Claw the Arcanine here. Protect. Uh-huh. Will-O-Wisp. Uh-huh. Dragon Claw. Nice. We're, we got a crit. So now we also have Flutterman in the back as well, so... That's good. Among Us as well. That's a really good for me. I'm going to... Honestly, just Tailwind to ensure that I can outspeed. Then I'm going to Acrobatics. There, Among Us. Actually, no, I'm going to go for Dragon Claw on their, um... Roaring Moon here. But, but Among Us could use Rage Powder. I forgot. I'm so dumb. Okay. I should have gone for Acrobatics on my... On the, um... On the, um... What's the word? On the Roaring Moon to come up for the Rage Powder play. Now, who do they terrestrialize here? The Among Us or the... Or the Among Us, yes. Awesome possum. And two water type, okay. Tailwind. Hopefully no Rage Powder, please. Nope, no Rage Powder. Sweet, sweet KO. And now what, what are they going to do? Like, Spore or whatever? Yep, go for Spore. Yeah, the battle is said and done. I'm just... Gotta wait them out. Yep. 
Roaring Moon won't be able to pick up Delco here. So, it's going to be a while, though. Oh, wow. It almost did, actually. All right. Brave Bird. Just gotta keep going. I too am sleepy. <laughs> Oh, battle was canceled. Okay. All right. GG's well played. All right. Next opponent has a Quakaval. Huh. Well then. And also have a King Gambit, Grimmsnarl, Fluttermane, Armor Roots, and Dragonite. So against the Grimmsnarl teams, I like to lead with Godingo first. Because it really does put pressure onto their Grimmsnarl. As well as Talonflame here. But since they have the King Gambit, what I need to consider doing is to, um... Will-O-Wisp the King Gambit. But then the King Gambit can have a Fire Terror type as well. You know what? But then I'll bring Iron Bundle in the back for the Hydro Pump. I was going to say I could bring in Iron Bundle and, the, and predict the Fire Terror, but that's too hard. Um, <laughs> so then in the back, I'll have Roaring Moon. No, Flood, Flood of Main. Yes. Sorry, my eye is really itchy. Alright. We led correct here. So now I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna try lots here. I go for the make it rain. Because I believe this picks up the KO on Griffnall even through screens, unless it has a berry. And then I'm gonna go for, for Brave Fort on the Quaker Ball here. And we should have a good lead here. I'm not too worried about Tailwind just yet. So yeah, we we like great here actually. Quaka Quaka feet scare me a little bit. I wonder if Quaka Ball can outspeed the Tattle Flame. I'm not sure. It's a very niche Pokemon. Well, it doesn't matter because we have Gale Wings, I forgot. Alright, it hangs on. Swagger on Talaflame, okay. Interesting. Now, Make It Rain comes out. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good at all. Aquacep on who? Okay, on Talaflame, okay, good, good, good. But now we just go for Make It Rain. Wow. That strategy is so scary, though. I got lucky that, that they ignored the Godingo this play and let me do whatever I wanted. But, um, yeah. That strategy is... is really scary. Because if they, if, um, if, I'm sorry, I can't word today. If they had lived that, that Quokkaball would have been plus three in attack and plus one in speed. Just absolutely terrifying. Oh, dear. Think about it, terrifying. So, we gotta go for a, um, 
make it rain here. And then a uh, Moonblast on King Gambit. And hope we don't get the, um, we don't activate Defiance. Moonblast. No Defiant. Oh, thank gosh. Make it rain. King Gambit should live this, actually. If just barely. Are you Life Orb, King, King Gambit? That'd be nice if you were. He's not. Okay. Whatever, then. In this case, we're just gonna go for a Shadow Ball onto the Thunder Man here. It will survive, unfortunately. Um, and then Icy Wind. They terrestrialize somebody. I don't know who, though. Well, I mean, it's a what? Ghost? Fairy? Okay. Sucker Punch. We live. Nice. Icy Wind. We are now faster than the, um, Flood I mean here. Shadow Ball. Negative damage. That's a little gleam, though. We should both live, live this, right? Yeah, we, we both survive. So now, make it rain. With Freeze Dry. I hope this Elko's. Yeah, we should Elko here. Okay. <laughs> That game got super close there. Oh my gosh. Alright. Nice, we beat Tito. Um... They have Armor Rouge and Pelipper, so they probably have Wide Guard on this team. Um, honestly, Godingo has a great matchup into this whole team, save for the Dragonite. So I'm going to leave Godingo with Tattered Flame here. Then at the back, I'll have Iron Bundle. Then I'll have... Um, Fluttermane? Yeah. I'm doing a little dance here. Armor Rouge and Dragonite. Okay, so... They're probably gonna go for like a wide guard here. So... Yeah. Let's read, let's read into that, actually. They terrestrialize somebody who... They're a Dragonite. A normal type? Yeah. They're the Choice Band Extreme Speed set, so they can't even touch us now. Well, they can't touch my, um, Godingo. Yeah. Okay, Brave Bird. Uh-huh. And goodbye, Armor Rouge. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the um, Extreme Speed Choice Band Dragonite. It's good. It's it's good, okay, it's good. But at the same time, it's just... Kind of iffy, you know? It's hard to use properly. So we're going to Trasalize here, the Godingo, in order to, to survive the Shadow Ball from the Fun Domain. 
And then we're going to protect the Tata Flame here. Or better yet, we're just going to switch into off of the main. So yeah. And then with the Make It Rain, we should take out both Pokemon. Unless the Flutter Main has Focus Sash, which it probably does. Extreme Speed. Yes. Shadow Ball. We should live this now. Uh-huh. Master Death Fell. That doesn't matter. Make it rain. Dragonite still has more to scale and attack, which sucks, but whatever. But I mean, it goes down. Well, it doesn't, actually. It survived. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So now, what we're going to do here is we're going to... They're going to Shadow Ball for the main here. I'm just going to go for the Make It Rain here. We're going to Protect. Wait to see, Shadow Ball. Yep. Then Extreme Speed, my Gordingo. But I should live. Oh, wait. We got speed there, um, Dragonite. Okay. Yes. They're not choice banned. Huh. Well, I'll be. Now it's not Iron Bundle here. They have their own Godingo. I think we're safe going for like Freeze Dry on Dragonite and then Shadow Ball on Godingo. I would I would use Icy Wind, but I just don't want to miss it. And now, Shadow Ball should check out the um, Goldingo here. If it doesn't, then, then we'll lose. Okay, good. <laughs> it did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. They have a Jolteon, you guys. I love Jolteon so much. Okay, so they have Tailwind. So it's like a Volt Absorb Jolteon with a um, Tailwind um, Volt Absorb Kilowatt Troll, I think. That is so cool. It's so creative. I love it so much. Okay, but anyway, um, we're going to beat it. Um, Tailwind. To match that own Tailwind. We also have Iron Hands as well, and Iron Hands just kind of, kind of goes dumb here. Then we have Iron Bundle, and then we have, y'all want Go Dingo? No, Fluttermane. No, Roaring Moon, actually. Mm. I want to say Roaring Moon because Flo Flo sorry, Flutterman Shadow Ball might not pick up the KO on Godingo in the Sandstorm due to the speed death boost that Sandstorm gives um, Rock Ground and Steel Type Pokemon. But Throat Chop is a physical move, so therefore um, it won't um, it won't be affected by the Sandstorm's um, defensive boost. Hopefully you guys understood that. You probably didn't, but that's okay. 
Alrighty. So now what we could actually do here is we can um Do I want to terrestrialize actually? Terrestrialize my talent flame. That might be the move, actually. Keep it on the field for longer. What do you terror type? And what do you terror type into? Okay. Makes sense. Now they're just gonna like discharge over and over again, right? So much damage. But it, it was a crit. They discharge. Uh huh. They're both so fast, too. Now, what I could do here, I'm going to like, I guess, Brave Bird. And then drain punch the Dolceon. Yeah, drain punch should fit us off the Dolceon. Sorry, buddy. Oh, Vault Switch, okay. I stand corrected. Who comes out here now? Oh no! Do they know? I don't think they know. Oh no. Okay, that's upsetting. That hurts me. Um, Pelipper comes out. Oh, okay. They lost the, they lost the rain. I mean, they lost the sand. They got the rain. We can free try the Pelipper here, and then we can go for like a. But you have wind power. You don't have Vault Absorb. I'm gonna punch you. Yeah, I've got the Wide Guard. Wait, I should have used Trade Punch. Oh well. Discharge. No Paralysis. Please. No paralysis, please. Nice. Jolteon comes out. They probably have thunder. We're going to Icy Wind. Both Pokemon here. And then I'm going to Drain Punch the Killer Wall Trail. They're both still faster than me, though. Wait, that's right. Wind Power. Shoot. Shadow Ball. We eat it. It's a death drop. Not good. Discharge.
Okay, but we use Drain Punch as well, so we get HP back. Okay. Drain Punch. Are you leftovers? Okay. My tail one is gone. But I have Roy Moon in the back. And you have like Discharge, you have Shadow Ball, you have Protect. What else do you have? It would be hilarious if they had like Double Kick. That'd be bonkers. Hyper voice. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, anyway, GG's well played. Okay. All right, then. I think. That's it for the video. Um, yeah, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me a fun fact about yourself. Like, do you play an instrument? Do you play sports? Like, do you have a college degree? Anything. Um, and don't forget that you are loved, that you matter. And I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.